Okay, so... <laughs> this patch... This season 11, mid-season, whatever you want to call it. So... A team of people sat around a table and discussed potential changes to Overwatch. And this is what they came up with. Bearing in mind the state of the game as it is now. So what have we got? Armor flat damage reduction increased from 5 to 10 per projectile. So let me get this straight. They increased everybody's health because they wanted to negate burst damage, like the dependency on burst damage. Um, now that buff makes sustained damage better because but if burst isn't killing them in like one, two shots, then suddenly sustained damage is going to be a lot better or even a combination of both. So then they increase the effectiveness of armor. So now suddenly sustained damage is also nerfed. So just revert the health change. Like it's stupid. Um, okay, so it doesn't affect all heroes. It's only on tanks, but still that's just dumb. Tanks. Tank roll passive. Ultimate generation increased from 30 to 40%. Big buff. Knockback re uh, resistance reduced from 50 to 40%. It's a non, like, it's a null factor. It doesn't do anything. Um, okay, not going to read their explanation for it. It's just, so far, so bad. Diva. Defense matrix maximum duration increased from 3 to 3.5 seconds. So Diva now blocks more stuff with an impossibly broken ability. <laughs> this one just gets me micro missiles. Explosion damage increased. They they opted to give Diva more damage. Like so when the Diva just sees a player isolated on their own, flies at them holds every button available to them and kills them because there's like no counterplay against it. They've just buffed that. So that's stupid. Like, ridiculously stupid. Doomfist. Over health gained per target increase from 35 to 40 health. So Doomfist, the tank that rarely dies, that people have to invest so many resources just to get him off of like your team before... Because you can't ignore him. It's not, you know, like, oh, you, we can just peel with supports. No, 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 you have to kill him or he will just kill you. Like, he'll kill all of your team. He's the tank that you actually have to eliminate. <laughs> um, yeah, they've made him harder to kill. So that's great. Um, delay before over health begins to drain. Increase from one to three seconds. Harder to kill. Thanks, Blizzard. Just what Doomfist needed. Junker Queen. Over health increase from 150 to 175 health. It's probably actually not that bad for Junker Queen. Um, adrenaline rush wound damage. Self healing multiplier. So more self healing. So more sustain. She didn't really need more sustain. The extra health. I can kind of agree with like that flat health. The over health. But sustain. Not sure that's a problem. Malga. Knockback damage increased. Uh huh. Great. More damage, just what he needs. Close range damage, I might add. Stomp damage increased. Uh-huh, Malga needed more damage, right? This is just painful to read. Cardiac overdrive. Duration reduced. Okay, that's good, because sustain was a big issue of his. Lifesteal increased from 60 to 100%. <laughs> So basically, if he has an Anna with him, Anna can just nade, and he just his health will go to full every time instantly. Damage reduction increased from thirty percent to forty percent. More attack. survivability Select for Malga. Allies now only receive half of the life steal and damage reduction effective value. Yeah, fair enough. Um. Orisa Fortify increased. This is this is actually the worst patch I've ever seen. Ramatra, Nemesis form, bonus armor. 
Yeah, this is this is absolutely tragic. So he's going to get his bonus armor once when he uses Nemesis form, and then when it resets and he uses an ultimate, he gets even more bonus armor. Pummel damage increased. This is just like, like you can't make this up. This this is an the April Fool's patch. Every problem is a very large hammer. Reinhardt, maximum it health increase. Uh, shield, shield, shield health. Yeah, from one thousand four hundred to one thousand six hundred. Barrier regeneration rate. Yeah, whatever. Wall impact damage two seven five to three hundred. I'm not sure what that five, breaks. Four, um, three, two, but okay. One. To be continued on deaths. Oh. I wanted to put some pressure on him. the whole time like their defense is so ineffective here oh that's not great Roadhog, area damage after activating for this is for his mine increased 30 to 45 damage per second. That already had crazy damage. That's not. Oh no, the accidental jump. Moira Coalescence, not buffed damage, by the way. Resurrection. A vile. Flourish. Enemy here! Oh, the there's a wall there. I didn't make it. <laughs> it's okay, neither did he.
Uh, how did I miss that? Hit on break. Nice. That's a really quick time. Okay, Roadhog. Again on the mine. Recovery time reduced. Cooldown now begins immediately when used instead of after a short delay. Okay, so more mines, more damage. <sighs> Sigma, impact damage on the rock from 40 to 80. I oh, know that, no, wait. Yeah, it is. Hmm, okay. So, again, more damage for the tank. So, our minds are shackled. This is Submission this patch is ridiculous. Is Winston, secondary fire charge time reduced. One second to 0.85, so more long range sniping from Winston. It, you know, I hate the ability, but if that was just in a patch on its own, I'd probably go, okay, fine, it's not great. Primal Rage, maximum health gain increase from 500 to 700. Why? All you're doing there is making him better at stalling objectives. Like, that's ridiculous. Five, four, three, two, one. Attackers incoming. Was that Diva or an Echo? It's Diva, so we're not going to play there. Oh, that sound was Winston Diamond. No, it was so close to getting the Diva there. If Monkey uses one of those long range cannons, Diva dies. Your position is insurmountable. Receive my aid. Oh, 
mistimed the uh, fade. So I jumped, then hit fade because I was holding it and I thought I was going to get the fade earlier. So we set an insanely good time, and so far they're on course to do a better one. Let's use all the ults then. No, I just want the pylon down and then I'm fading. So, where were we at? Um, Our minds are shackled. Wrecking Ball. Is Automatic the reload we're time. Reduced from 2 to 1.6 seconds. So, effectively more damage on the tank. Allied overhealth transfer ratio increased by 50%. Um... Okay. Check is uh, haven't now really got much of an opinion on that. Zaya, the bar, the bubble health has been increased. Looking better already. And the duration increased. Five, four, three, what are they actually doing? The thing is, we can't really peek out there. And now they're moving the payload a lot. I need to follow that. Don't give the 
with you to the mech. Okay, well that was ridiculous. The point, the point, the point. <clears throat> I can't believe they increased Zaya's bubble. That's insane. The problem is that, uh, well, I guess we've got quite a lot of time, but that is quite far that they've just pushed that. Good rally from the Brig and then to be able to support it with Coalescence. This Brig's playing really well. Right, DPS. Bob now gains the tank roll passive ability. It's not that bad. Cassidy, primary fire fall off range rescaled from. So hang on. Okay, so he's going to be. Our minds are shackled. Submission is the key. Okay, so they are they are nerfing his damage. They're they're trying to talk about fall off, but. Actually, they're just nerfing it at close range and long range. Interesting. Farah. Explosion. Okay, they're saying they, they're reverting Concussion Blast. So it no longer deals damage. Okay, well, that's good. Science means going where outcomes are uncertain. And a sleep dart. Tank. Going to have a great it lasts time. less time. Ilari. Five, four, oh, something about three, destroyed. Two, one, Zenyata, alt cost decreased by 10. Uh, 10%. Yeah, that's nothing. I mean, it's all about tanks, this patch. How do I feel about no Moira changes? I'm not that fussed. I would have liked to see Coalescence damage, but... Get it this main distance first. I know we're firing it at our Diva, right? But we still get a little bit of damage out of it, and I don't need a healing wolf right now. Friendship is actually kind of interesting. That might get the same out here. Okay. Victory. Taking heavy fire. So yeah, the um the entire patch is just possibly the worst they've ever released. It's not going to solve any problems with the game. It's not going to like make tank less enjoyable. It doesn't address anything to do with counter picking. Um, like if anything now counter picking is just more powerful. It does increase their survivability, but now it's just yeah. I don't know. I don't know what Blizzard are thinking. I, I can't believe that they actually came up with these suggestions and then got approval for it and then it's in the game that's actually insane guys <laughs>